Okay guys, let's try to make this quick um, epic intro tutorial. Okay, this is what we're gonna be doing. Alright, looks difficult but isn't. We basically have five layers. The first layer is a simple gradient. No. You see, I made it in Photoshop. White and gray, simple. Second layer is a is another pick I made in Photoshop. It's this and via keyframes I made it that it will move throughout the time just a bit get some movement here so it looked like this just the second one okay this is our background a little bit of movement a little bit of gradient stuff here okay and then we got the text layers it's three times the Vegas text layer but different effects on it okay let's start here to make this kinda organic and some kind of dirty I added some noise just slightly here 84 so you can see it's not that clean it looks more organic okay and the second one is the Gaussian blur what does the Gaussian blur when I shut it off you see okay, the motion blur here does that it kind of appears and to expand that effect I took defocus as well Gaussian blur from see here the settings to zero that's simple keyframe here and here 630, 630 vertical and horizontal to zero, zero. Defocus, turn it off. Looks like that. Oh, well, maybe. Yeah, it looks good too, but I wanted it to be more evolving, more appearing like that one and therefore I made a yeah, simple simple settings you have to figure it out 112 here on the radius Bloom threshold almost a hundred, bloom strength ten, and then you can see zero 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 zero. Alright. That additional you can shut it off. Okay, you got that. See? It appears okay the second layer is the same as the black layer here you can see those strings here is the black layer only has Gaussian blur from like a 0.5 to 0 vertical range affects this here and no change in the horizontal range. Okay, that's easy too. And the last layer is a is another red or reddish layer. 
is that twirling here? Let's see that twirling like that. Okay, how did I do that? Via swirl. The second keyframe is always a zero. And the first is full, just full range here, full scaling, full amount to zero. And a bit of Gaussian blur. Without Gaussian blur, it would look like that. So I took a Gaussian blur. All right. You got it till here and then it pops and disappears. How did I do that? Keyframe here on the panning cropping on all the three layers. Make make it smaller. Paint it. So it looks like the camera is moving towards it and rotates and then uh, the effect um, that causes that popping out to the screen is the radial blur yeah here starts from zero last keyframe is at the end and almost a thousand or one I don't know and do that on all three layers and then you have it have fun <laughs>